All right, all right, all right. This is Next Legacy Radio. I am Brandon here with my beautiful guest. Um, wanted to talk to her about a handful of different things. <laughs> Entertainment in a nutshell, the, the social media game, um, life in general, podcast, and all that good shit. It's, it's definitely going to be something for the ages for people to tap in and get to know this woman. And um, so she can tell us about her hustle and all things that is. So you can definitely make sure you follow her on Instagram at Rio and the Runways. I want to welcome my queen, Shanice, a.k.a. Rio. What's up, baby? Hi. Thank you for having me on your show. Uh, thank you for tapping in. And, and you know, like I said, it's, uh, I'm not going to tell people, like, you know, all the stuff as far as how we met that, but um, after meeting you, you intrigued me for this reason. Um, something about how you were talking about what you had going on with you personally got me inspired. Like, it got me inspired to a degree where it's like, you know, hey, I want to know a little bit more and stuff like that too, right? So um, I want you to tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, what you do, and what your aspirations is when it comes to just your growth and your brand and what you want to do for yourself. Okay. My name is Rio. I'm from Oakland, California. I've been modeling for about a decade. I've been known for runway modeling, um, TV, radio ads, radio voiceovers, um, calendar, billboard. I've been on the side of buses, and I'm really highly active in runway modeling right now. So I've been around, and um, I'm just really trying to um, grow in the modeling industry as well as the entertainment field, like acting. So I'm into film as well. So you've been doing this for a while, decades strong. You've had, you know, opportunities, obviously, by what you just put out there, but there's still more for you to do. The grind doesn't stop when it comes to just overall expanding your brand. So. Over these 10 years or so, how has the the grind been? Has it been, you know, up, ups and downs, you know, highs and lows, challenges, things of that nature? Like, take the temperature of what you've been through for these, you know, for these 10 years or whatnot and just kind of elaborate on it a little bit more. Um, definitely. You know, it's – the entertainment industry is not a, a picnic in the park, Um it's very um, strategic work. You have to network, and you have to stay consistent, and you get a lot of doors slammed in your face. I've been really fortunate to work with a lot of people. I've been like performing at like expos and um, traveling with different people because I used to dance too, but I don't do that anymore. Um, mm-hmm. I just really want to be focused on um, the podcast that I'm on as a host and modeling and acting. And I also do behind the scenes. So um, I work with various um, filmmakers, and I assist them on the set with whatever they need. So it's not just doing one thing and being specific. I want to be versatile. And I... I make that commitment to do so in such a short period of time. So it's hard, and I just try and stay, you know, self-motivated, and I just give it to God because, you know, it takes a lot of courage to do what I do. Mm -hmm. Uh, Courage on top of just consistency on top of, you know, being patient, because I know there's a lot of hands on things that, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, people are like, you know, hey, I got this done, I'll get this done for you, but, you know, the waiting game is a little bit different, everything about it is is different, but before I talk to you about podcasts and some of the other stuff, let me, let me, you you mentioned runway modeling and things of that nature, so Mm -hmm. to me, it's an art form when people do that, like, you know what I'm saying, I know you mentioned something about dance, but you can bring that element to runway modeling in a sense because it does build up your character. It does build up just the overall confidence that you need to have when you are doing runway modeling, right? Yes. 
And I'm not the only one on that runway. There's like a lot of models. They're very beautiful. They're very talented. They're very sleek. They're very smart. Um, you have to have a certain level of confidence. You know, there's all shapes, sizes, and colors and forms. We're very diverse now, diverse now and very cultural. Um, it's, a, it's a very good atmosphere that I'm a part of, and um, I would not change that for the world because, you know, a lot of times when you go to France and you go to Europe or you watch other runways, fashion shows and fashion weeks, you you see just, you know, every now and then you see a variety of people, but here in the Bay Area, you see everybody. And I've worked with everybody in the music industry and in the fashion industry and in the in the film industry, I've worked, I can honestly say that I've worked with all ethnic groups of people. So okay. I'm very proud of that because that's what, you know, Oakland is about in California. That's where I come from. So I'm very proud Diver of that. Diversity is the name of the game. Shanice, a.k.a. Rio, is my guest on Next Legacy Radio. And you mentioned something about just – on your on the runway you have multiple people you know either in front or behind or on the side you mm -hmm. got people on lookers all that good stuff so when you do take that stage and you do walk that runway um how do you stand out from the others um i would definitely have to say the years of experience that i stand out and mm -hmm. um just the level of dedication I've been around for a long time, and, you know, I I make sure, you know, even though I haven't been consistent with it over that t period of time, I want right. to say within the last few years I have been, and I can definitely see the growth. Um, I started out with no makeup artist and not having shoes or clothes or whatever, you know, just to have on hand, and now I do. Mm -hmm. I come very equipped. Sometimes I come with a makeup artist or I have my makeup done before I show up or I get it done there. Before, I wouldn't know anything. And it comes with experience that you know what to do. And sometimes you have people to help you and sometimes you don't. You're on your own. And if you're on your own, you know, it's sink or swim. You're going to be lost because there's so many people and there's so many designers and there's you know, so many people that you need to make contact with, and if you don't know who to go to or who to see or who to talk to, you're going to be lost, and it, that's not a good feeling. But um, mm -hmm. I, I've been very fortunate to network with quite a few people and uh, made a name for myself. Shout out to Kelda Music. She's doing her thing. I work with her. I'm a model for um, Tinks, and the website is at where Tinks. And... I'm a brand ambassador for quite a few people, but um, like I said, it's dedication. I'm not just an Instagram model. I'm really putting myself out there as a person, as a brand, and I put my heart out there. I'm very compassionate about what I do. And, and I, I think tell that was the that. vibe I got. <laughs> It, no doubt, and that's the vibe that I got when you know when I crossed paths with you because you know. Like I said, truth be told, like, you know what I'm saying, this woman just, you know, some people you could hear people say certain things and be like, nah, that's bullshit, whatever, it is what it is. But I ain't saying this because you on the line and, I, you know, we have, like, a connection or whatnot, but I really and truly heard what you was talking about when we first crossed paths. That's why I was like, yo, I felt that. <laughs> I felt that. Like, I felt that because – there's certain levels to how people talk about what they want to do about it. And mm -hmm. you had that, you had that something about you. Um, you know what I'm saying? When we touched down and I super appreciate that. And you mentioned Kelda, um, me and her, if you go back and ask her, you know, about <laughs> Charles next legacy radio, me and her go back a little bit. So, you know, cause she used to be on my show early days. Like I'm talking about 2010, well, small world, small world. So shout out to Kelda. Yeah. Um, I know she's doing her thing, so I'm proud of her. But um, yes, listen, 
what you doing right now, like before I start talking about just, you know, acting and things like that, back to the um to the runway modeling, what's the misconception that you, you think people have when it comes to just that form? Because I see it as a form of art. Um, what's the misconception that you either hear from other people or something like that when it comes to runway modeling and, you know, stuff like that? Because people think, um, Rio, that, look, all right, you can just go ahead and put some clothes on and just walk it, and it'll be all right. You know what I mean? But it's, there's more to that. There's level to it. So, you know, what's the misconception or what are some of the things you think people would need or should need to know, need to know when it comes to runway modeling and the efforts? Okay. So one of the misconceptions is um, you have to pay someone to um, do your pictures or um, pay an agency so they would represent you. That is not true. Um, I have have experience on both sides, having an agent and not an agent. My son, he, I was his manager, and but he had an agent. He worked under an agency an international agency, which they pay really good. I don't have an agent. Um, it would be nice to have an agent, but it's so competitive. Um, I like being a, a free agent because I'm working for myself. I can speak for myself. If I want a representative, I can get someone for me. But it works better this way because um, in the beginning, but I'm still growing, and I'm still learning, and I'm I'm pretty flexible. It just takes a little bit of time because I'm I'm not just gonna roll with anyone. It's it has right. to be a very well thought out process. And um, through experience, I've learned not to just um, be quick on decisions because mm -hmm. that's how people get into situations. But Overall, you know, you live and you learn. You have to go through certain things, and 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 I was one of those people who had to to go through that. So, well, with all the ups and downs and the you know highs and lows and the journey, I just I just really I just really more I guess in a lot of ways more appreciate the journey that people go through because not everybody's going to get that overnight success and they're not going to get to a point in time in their lives where it's just like, you know, some people do, you might hit the lotto, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you know, what's the, what's the odds on that? You know what I mean? But it's different when you start building something from nothing to something and seeing the progression when it comes to it overall. So, you know, and like I said, I haven't known you too long, but you know, enough to know that, you still got enough in you to be able to take it up levels, and which brings me to acting. When when did you start getting in? When did you what what situation got you to a point, Rio, that you were like, you know what, I like this. I think I could do this. Um, I've actually worked on the set with quite a few people, actors and actresses in the industry, I had like little, um, what do you call it, extra work. Uh-huh. So I've, I've always done little extra work, and I have a few movie credits. If you look me up, I'm under Shawnee Rio Kyle. And I have a couple few credits from independent films, and I've done like a couple indie films as well. Um, I, I've been encouraged to do more when you – it doesn't matter what field you're in. When you meet different people, they will always talk about, like, their aspirations, and they'll, you know, try to get you involved. And I was, you know, it made me think. Um, there's a woman, her name is Monique, and she's a, um, a black filmmaker, and she's very experienced. And I've worked side by side with her. So I'm not just picking up things because I want to. I pick up things because I've learned from other people and right. I've learned to discipline myself to create my own identity and my own originality and my own authenticity. So when you learn and you start creating your own things and ideas, then you start disciplining yourself and it's just over time... You know, I wanted to do acting. 
I've always done it. Even in high school, I've done like plays and things like that. I've done little extra work. Why not do it full time? Not why not audition for a lead role, which I'm doing something right now in acting. But I want to do everything because it's intriguing to me, not just the modeling, but the acting and the, you know, being a script supervisor or a writer. You know, it's all about creativity. So, yeah, I'm very creative, and I just want to express that through my own life. So it's, it's fun. I really like it. And there's so much you could do, like over a weekend on a Saturday or a Sunday. You could learn how to draw. You could learn how to sew. You could, there's so many things you could do, you know, outside of a nine to five. And you just have to find what it is that you like and, and do it big. And I've been doing it really big out here. I'm, I'm running into people that you know. It's funny. <laughs> but I've been around for a while, so a lot of people know who I am. And it's time that I just, step outside of the Bay Area and just um, expand and experience my talent because I'm sure that people would appreciate it even outside of the Bay Area. Amen to that. Amen (laughs) to that. Shanice, a.k.a. Rio, is my guest on Next Legacy Radio. And I think even with with acting, doing voiceovers, doing certain things where you can be able to not just put your voice to use, but, you know what I'm saying, hearing the passion or putting in some kind of work that people can be inspired by at the end of the day is always a good look. Um, I look at people like, you know, other or other other people in your crab like Taraji. Um, she was a late bloomer. She didn't get hit with a with, you know, an opportunity until a little later. There's a lot of there's a lot of people in this business that, you know what I'm saying, it, it wasn't all young actors. Some some of these actors and actresses took in you know, a moment in time where they got they got a they got an opportunity later on in life and stuff like that. And it's just you know, there's no there's no clock right. on, on opportunity. You could do it at a young age or you could do it middle age, you could do it older, whatever the case may be, you still got an opportunity. And I think that's one of the sure. things that people need to really pay attention to, right? Is like, you know, seize the moment. Yeah. Well, you know what? Everything is is on God's time. You know, you may want something so bad and it's not happening. You're like, well, why isn't it happening? Why isn't it happening? It's it's going to happen, but it's going to happen when God allows it to happen. So I'm on God's time and I'm okay with that. You know, if, if it doesn't happen now, I'll be 90-something years old. I'll still be on somebody's runway. I'm still going to be hey. in movies. So it doesn't even matter. I will be 92, 93. That will be me. And you, and everybody will be like, I can't believe she was still on the runway at 92 years old. Listen, listen, and I'm going to be right there cheering you on with my cane and my walker doing it, doing it big for my girl. You know what I mean? I'll be like, there she go. There she go right there. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's right. Well, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be that. Right. I'm gonna be that. Yeah, I'm gonna be that ninety-some year old with a chicken wing. Right. Never, that's my girl. That's my girl. That's real. That's right. That's my girl. Nah, hey, that's listen. There's girl. no, there's no timetable on progression. You can call yourself a late bloomer. You can call yourself look. I, like you said, it's God's <laughs> plan. It's set up that way. And on the real, like I feel like any time that you interact with somebody that is either like minded or you click with somebody on something like that, that's that's you know, I'm not trying to get super spiritual um um on, on, on anything, but I just really feel like that is God's plan when it comes to putting people that's together right. that can exactly. either feed feed off of, be inspired by, motivate, that's stuff right. like that. Because at the end of the day, Rio, that's all we here for anyways, is to grow and, and people help people at the end of the day. That's true. That is so true. I agree. Real is my guest on Next Legacy Radio, and, and talk to me about po- or this podcast. Tell me, tell me a little bit, a little bit about what you host and what you got. Okay, so I've been a host on a podcast called Sex in Oakland, and it's for women, and we talk about relationships. And every now and then we'll have a guest. And our guest 
it can we never I don't even know who our guest is gonna be. <laughs> like I'm just gonna keep it real. I never know who the guest is gonna be until I get there. So um yeah, we have some interesting people. We have some interesting people. And um Put it out there. I need to be I need to be a guest. Put it put it out there. Okay. I'm trying to get well, all right. I'm gonna put it out there on Tuesday. Tuesdays at put seven o'clock. Sex in Oakland. I sure will. How about so it? Where's, okay. Where's, I'm down. I'm hella down. I'm I'm real. You know, all I gotta right. say hello. Cool. Oakland. I'm from Oakland, born and raised in Oakland. So I'm hella I down. Am, so let's do it. I am from deep east Oakland. Come on, girl. You know this. <laughs> You know this? Okay, hey, I'm hey, gonna, hey. I'm, okay. 106 in Brandy Park. I grew up around there. Oh, in the wow. So, oh, Actually, on. our last guest was from Sabrani Park. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. Small world. No, we all Small. help each other out, and we all give each other our props, and we give credit when credit is due. Like, I get a lot of support from people, and I mean, like, it doesn't matter where, um, Hayward, San Leandro, Oakland, I mean, L.A., Texas, I get a lot of love out here, and um, I think because I have this support, it just makes me stronger as a person to, um, you know, to stay self-motivated and continue to do what I need to do to be Mm -hmm. uh, successful. You know, you need that support. If you don't have support, then you you don't get the little push that you need, you know? Straight up. Straight up. Um, and, and, and you liking the vibe with, uh, you know what I'm saying, sex in Oakland and, you know, I from, do. you know, I I all really... that stuff. You like that? <laughs> I really do. The vibe is really good and it's always positive. Um, the young ladies, Miss Ninja, Crystal with an H, and um, Isabel, and myself, Rio. So um, you can find us on IG at Sex in Oakland, and um, they're funny. Uh, Miss Ninja is actually a comedian, and she performs a few, you know, quite a few times at um, a little comedy club out here, but. Yeah, we all, we have our own thing, and we just, when we get together, we vibe, it's good, it's positive, and we just do what we're supposed to do. We ask our questions, and um, it's good. It's all positive, so, and we all have our own different personalities, so, and we get along, and I like that, you know, I get along with everyone that I work with, so it's all, um, it's all love. It's just all love. As it should be. You got your hands in a hell of a lot of things right now, and I'm proud of you for it. And it's always it's always good to see people elevating to try to do better themselves so they can basically help other people be inspired um, as yeah. well. Um, Shanice, a.k.a. Rio, is my guest on Next Legacy Radio. So I'm going to take – I'm going to do something that's kind of like a tie-in to your podcast or whatnot. I mean, this is – basically never do's in relationships, right? So I'm going to give you seven little things we can quickly talk about, but I want to okay. leave it up to, I'm going to leave it up to the, you know what I'm saying, to the imagination of some people. So we're not going to go too deep into it, but, okay. you know what I'm saying, we're going we gonna, we gonna to get in and get out, you know what I'm saying, with these things or whatnot. So, listen, never do's in a relationship. Some of the, some of the stuff I was reading, I was like, nah, come on, I, I, got, a, I got an opinion. But I feel like some of this shit needs to, yeah, yeah, we need to talk about. It. So the first one, the first never do, is never talk anything about the ex or past. Your thoughts? No, don't do that. Why? Well, for one, they're gonna always hold it against you, and two, um, <laughs> you no, know, seriously, for real, they when you start bringing up your old exes, they're gonna not never let it go. They're gonna constantly bring it up, and then right. you're gonna be like, damn, I should have never told him that, you know. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, don't do that. But another reason why not to do that is because you don't want to show that you have any type of feelings whether they're good feelings or bad feelings, you don't want to bring it up at all. Like, it has nothing okay. to do with your new relationship. So just leave it out. 
Don't bring up old stuff. Leave it out. I can respect that. Let me yes, let me add another. Let me, let me add another flavor to it, which I do respect what you just said because I feel like if you start talking about like if I start talking if I'm with you, Rio, and we start we start talking about exes or whatever, then what's the point of us mm-hmm. even trying to vibe? You know what I mean? Like to me, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like, but, why you wanna? You know, why are you gonna bring her up? Because if you bring her up, then I'm never gonna let it go, and I'm gonna be I'm just gonna say something, and you're gonna. And you're gonna be mad, you know. I'm gonna be like, "Well, what about your girl, your little redhead girlfriend <laughs> with the gold tooth?" And then you're gonna be like, "Dang, why you got to get at her like that? She didn't even have a gold tooth." Girl. It's just like, and then I'll just go in on you and be like, "Well, her tooth look rotten. That's why I look gold. That's why yeah. she, you know, I'll just go in on her." And you'll be like, "Dang, I should have never said anything," you but, know. But I also yeah, feel like this. That you'll never. You'll be yeah. like, dang, I wish I would have never said anything about her. Right, I'll right. Just, I'll make it all bad <laughs> for you. <laughs> you know, I'll, out, like I'll a... make it all bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I feel like this too, though. You know, it's the initial introduction of getting to know somebody, you you know, that question might be, hey, why you break, you know, when was the last relationship or what happened? You know, that may come up. Not saying you got to go too deep into it, but as you go deeper into a relationship, if you got a baby mama or a baby daddy, that may yeah, need to you don't bring do that. yourself back. That may pop yeah. back up eventually, depending on what the situation is and how deep it is. But the initial yeah. conversation shouldn't be hovering around <laughs> fucking ex people. Like, you know, nah, well, I'm trying to get to know you, girl. I don't want to get to know yeah, what you, you want to hear about you. my past. You yeah. don't want to hear about that. Yeah. No, I got it. I got it. So I feel that. Never do oh, yeah. in a relationship number two is never talk or do something that makes them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. That's don't loaded. Don't do that. That's loaded, though. Yeah. That's, that's loaded for this reason. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a swing. I'm a swing <laughs> at this and you... And you let me know if it's not cool or not. But listen, there's going to be shit in life that's uncomfortable. You may you may have a tough truth that you need to tell her or him that mm-hmm. may make that person feel uncomfortable, be it if it's their job status and they need to level up, or if it's something that they are low self-esteem on and you just got to give them the hard facts. You know what I'm saying? That <laughs> might make that yeah, person. The hard facts. For real, but that might because, make them feel but, uncomfortable. Okay, but just, but just because you say that to them and you make them feel uncomfortable does not mean they're going to change at all. Fact. Fact. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you can say whatever you want to say because what is it going to do? It's not going to change a thing because two people actually have to have an agreement, have an understanding. And it's always that one person that just says, no, nah, I don't have to do that. That's not my man. That's not my woman. That's, they're the only bluffing. You know, they're not going to They're not gonna level up until the other person level up. That's a good so point. It's really That's just, a good point. It's, it's really just it's a, a relationship is a strategic plan. And I think that... Two people really have to have an understanding. If you don't have that understanding in the very beginning, you're going to be playing chess with somebody for a very long time. And I hate chess. I don't even like to play games. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you're, going to, you're going to be playing games with people, and it's not fun. If for a man, it's not fun. It's not fun for a woman. Right. And eventually somebody's going to get burnt, and they're going to be like, I'm cool. I forfeit this game. I don't want to do it no more. Yep. And it always ends up that way. And some, somebody gets their feelings hurt, and it's not intentional, but it happens. Right. And it's just, it's no fun. Nobody likes to play games. And I just, in 2022, for me, I don't be want to play games. I just tell yep. the man to that. Time. Like, I'll have time playing that game. If it's not progression or growth, then right. what's, what's, what's really going on? You know what I mean? Like, if we can't help each other do that, do that. You know, to me, my, my, my game plan is us traveling to 
you know what I'm saying, um, the Bahamas Dubai. or some shit. Like that, right. You know what I mean? Dubai, <laughs> right. Like, that's, that's, Dubai. we can go play games there. You know what I mean? Like, that's right. it. Like, you know, but the stuff that you want to play with somebody when it comes to that is dry. Like, you know, you don't want yeah. that in your life. And obviously, as you get older, you ain't got time for all that shit either. So, you, really don't. you know, that's true. That's true. Never okay. do. Never make them feel restricted. Damn. Uh, never make them feel restricted. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Well, I'm thinking. I um, feel like restricted restricted is like you're not including them in certain things that may make them feel like the number two question is, a.k.a. uncomfortable. Like if, the, it, if I walk around, if I'm in a relationship with you and I feel restricted, like I can't do something, say something, talk to you about something, then that's a, that's a relationship fail anyways. Because um, I don't feel like nobody could really make somebody feel restricted, period. If, you, if you're shy and you don't want to talk, that's you. That's not me. Like, if we're engaged in a – if I'm conversating <laughs> with you, you know what I mean, though? No. <laughs> right. But, but am I lying? Am I lying? Because if, if, if you shy, you shy. If you don't want to talk about something, you don't want to talk about something, then that's, that's – you know, I feel like, Rio, you're probably not like that. I feel you're pretty expressive when it comes to that. I could be wrong, wrong judges. I could, you know, but I feel like you're pretty open with how you feel about certain things, and you're not going to make somebody, or you're not going to feel like, oh, I can't talk to him, or I can't talk okay, to her. So, or I can't, you know what I mean? But for somebody that feels like they're, they're very close to me, they would feel completely opposite. Like, okay. I mean... Yeah, I, I think that if someone that's close to me, they would be completely opposite. Because, okay. I don't know, I just, I think, well, I don't let too many people get too close to me anyway, so okay. I don't know, I'm just weird like that, I guess. I don't know. But if I let someone really close to me, then I'm like, okay, that's too close. I, that's not, that's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I'm just like I'm very protective of my spirit and my of who I am. So as you should. I don't know, as I just, you should. Have, I, have, have you in life? Have you in life had a situation where you just you just couldn't for the life of you as, as expressive as as you are, you just couldn't say something to somebody? And it, you know, you can throw a relationship in there or not. Or, you know, I don't know. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's different. That, that's, that's a different, like, who's going to make somebody feel restricted? And whoever does, if they do. Yeah, that's kind of selfish, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's not selfish. I'm, I don't put restrictions on people, but I would definitely like to know where I stand in a relationship. Because I'm, if you don't put the restriction on, the, on a man, they're going to be... They're very careless about what they do and careless of a woman's feelings. Because guys, right. I feel like sometimes, I mean, even though they care, they don't care. So there's a, it's their 50 50. Okay. Well, let me take I the think other. A lot of men, I think the... a lot of men need Jesus. <laughs> yeah, because well, they you know wanna, what? Hey, from... Because a lot of men, they want to lead, but. I feel like, how are you going to lead if you being raggedy? You got chicks and you got, we know you got girlfriends, you know what I mean? Like, how, show me that you're not going to be faulty while you're leading. You feel me? Like, I just, I can't see, I mean, I'm, I understand and I get that men aren't perfect because women aren't perfect. I know I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect, Patty, you know, but hey, I try very hard. Very hard considering the things I see and hear that men do. You know what I'm saying? So right. I can't really just be yeah. like, well, you skip and rope. You know, like everything yeah. is good and dandy and it's not. So real. Let me let me put it like this, coming from a guy's perspective. Like to me, yeah. and this is just me, and I feel like 
you know, as I've gotten older, I feel like there there has to be like a a, a sense about who we are as men that will probably make a woman be comfortable, you know, with the relationship that you're in. Meaning, if you're transparent and you're good on communication, even even when you're not feeling 100 percent about the situation, I may be upset with you or mad at you about a certain situation, but I can say it to you in a way where it's not going to piss you off so you can be able to listen to me without understand, you know, and understand at the same time. But to make a woman feel comfortable, there has to be transparency and not just what you do, but how you do it, period. It has to be consistent. you got to live that way. There should never be a day where it's just like, oh, well, I ain't going to tell Rio where I'm at but then I'll tell you for two days straight what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, there should never, right, ever right. be a day where you slip in. You cannot do that. I'm not saying guys are perfect. Just like you said earlier, women are not perfect. We're all not perfect. But even when you fuck up, you still have to be transparent with your lady and vice versa. Because if you don't have that, you ain't got nothing, and you're going to be playing that guessing game about what he doing, what she doing, what they doing, all that, all day. And you're going to know when that man's transparent because you're going to see it with his actions, period. And if his actions is faulty on a certain day, then it's a problem. <laughs> Straight up. I'm a guy. I know this. I know this. Mm-mm. And I just feel like in life, I ain't got no time to play with nobody. If right. I'm going to be up front, so if I'm going to be up front, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, where I'm doing. You got full access to me. You should have that. If a guy, right. if a guy, if a guy, you know, faults you on his phone, if he's not giving you all the information and not communicating with you how he used to communicate with you, then you got a problem. Not you, the person. Right. You're going to have a problem with him because he's doing something else that he ain't supposed to be doing, period. Exactly. Period. And that's and that's just it. We can go deep into that, but that's just a tease for like some other shit. Never doing a relationship number four is well, this kind of ties into what we were just talking about. Never doubt on them. Um if mm-hmm. they are into you, they will never cheat on you. Bullshit. People are gonna wind up cheating anyways <laughs> because they're gonna feel like, Dang. Feel like Okay, well keep they're it rolling then. You already <laughs> answered the question. All right. <laughs> exactly. They're gonna at Rio, they're gonna they're gonna definitely Find a reason. Uh, well, you know what? She didn't let me have sex this night, so I'm just gonna go get it from somewhere else. And that's the I reason just, why I cheated. But I just feel oh. like they don't even have to have a reason, though. They, it, there is no reason, not justifiable from coming from a woman. There's no reason why a man should go out and do what he want to do because he wouldn't want his woman to do those things. I'm just saying hypothetically. But you're right. But you're right. But you know why? Why men are dumb? We're dumb. We're dumb. We're dumb. Women are smarter than men. We know this shit. Men, right. men have an ego. A woman cheats, and you know the story. If a woman cheats on a man, his soul is crushed. His ego is crushed, and his soul. Everything his is soul crushed. Life is over. It's done. <laughs> Everything. But if a man does that to a woman, oh, baby, it's because you didn't, you didn't give and me wait, none they that do it all the time, it's though. Because but it's because you didn't cook for me that night I asked you to or whatever. You know what I mean? They're going to make us some dumbass excuse, and then there you go. But but that's not, again, it, it goes back to but what I'm saying. But those are the kind of men that women should just not even think about trying to have a relationship with because they're not going to change exactly. at all. Those stripes exactly. are not going to be red, white, and blue. Those, those stripes are black and white. They're not going to change. They're going to be black Straight and white. Up. So right. you need to move on. <laughs> you know, it, I mean, for real. Like, and they know. They know those guys aren't going to change. They just keep them around for whatever reason. Right. Or even the man. They think their woman is going to change, and they'd be like, no, they're not going to change. You can't change people. People are who they are. No doubt. Period. No doubt. <laughs> You gotta, you to me. Uh, uh, well, we gonna get into it in a minute because this, you know, this this one. But I, I got so much. I got so much for the world. Never do in a relationship. N- number five is never make them feel like a like a partner. Uh, they can't share anything. 
first be a great friend before a partner. I feel like this. In real, you can jump in with your thoughts as well. But I you, I feel like this. If if I can't share nothing with my best friend, a.k.a. it's supposed to be you, then there's your problem. I was in a relationship with my my the person I was with was not my best friend. That's why we're not together now. Like there has to be a semblance of not just a friendship but a partnership in a mm-hmm. in a um and in, in a common ground that you have when you in a relationship. You got to be connected in a way where it's just it's deeper than that. Where I could just be able to share all the dirt, all the flaws, all the shit, all the highs, all the lows, all that with my best friend to not judge me but also just encourage me. So if you can't be that, if you can't be a great friend before a partner, then you you ain't you ain't got shit. What do you got? What do you got, Rio, if you ain't got that? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like what do you got, Rio? What do you got? <laughs> but okay. you feel what I mean? Well, um, well, yeah. But I mean, guys they see a little bit differently. They can have all these relationships with different women and they can keep these relationships with several different women. It's not just one. They want to have relationships with several because it makes them feel like a king, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, it's different when you meet a queen who has those same traits that a king has and only wants that level of respect and the equal to be equal and guys right. a lot of guys don't see those women as being equal and that's why a lot of these women are single because they want to be equal right and i feel team. like sometimes it's the impossible but i don't know that's it, just it me talking be- Real, but also it could be possible if, if, and you'll know it from a guy. I think, you know, if you've never seen it before, I think you will in a sense where, you know, the buildup in all the years that you've been, you know, into something where you thought it would work right. and you didn't, uh, you <laughs> fell out, all that stuff, right? All that stuff kind of Im- amounts to, like, you're going to run into that one, that one that's going to be like, wow, uh-huh, he's showing uh-huh. me. Or she's showing me different, something different. You know what I mean? Not just transparency and, you know, being right. humble, but humble effort. Because if a man's not helping you build your brand, that is mm-hmm. not your man. That is not your man. Period. Got it. And vice versa. Right. Same with my woman. I would love for a woman to help me build my brand and vice versa. And be unconditional with the support. The love, the highs, the lows, everything that comes with it, with it. Period. And if somebody's not trying to help you grow, then what is right. that going? You feel me? You gotta have it. You gotta have that support for sure. Straight up. Never do in a relationship. Number six. Never compare them with your. We we talked about that with number one. Never compare them with your ex or someone other. Everyone is yeah, unique. Yeah, we don't do that. that. Yeah, we know yeah, that everybody. Yeah. Don't start comparing like, oh, you know what? Yeah, he he or she did. Nah, nah. You just you just want to x that out. Don't do that. Like to me, that's not it. Never. And the last one, never get angry on them. And even if you get, try to self control and divert your mind. Some unknown yeah. actions of destroy the whole relationship. True. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a Pisces, so I'm very emotional, and I. I tend to come off very strong with my emotions, and I can use my words that will be very either harsh or, you know, just make you think about what how, what you did to me or what right. you said to me. Like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really, um, I'm precise. I know how to address a situation But I, I don't know. So I, just, I don't know. I don't know if this world is ready for me, but here I am. Okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> That's all I can hey, say. Listen. Hey, listen. I'm ready for. You for I'm ready for you for this reason. I, get it. I know. Part of me knows what you're trying to say, but you're not saying it. But as emotional <laughs> and outspoken as you are, if a man really and truly respects you, loves you, like all the shit that you could say. 
you know, it may crush his spirit. He may be pissed. Whatever the case may be, it's a natural <laughs> emotion. But if he knows there's love there and there's effort there, he knows, like, you know what, let me go ahead and shift this real quick and just make sure that, you know, not not trying to turn the tables, but just to be like, you know what, I know you're mad. I'm going to give you your space, let you do what you need to do, but you're going to come right back here and we're going to fix this. Straight up. Aw, you can your little that. heart. Look, bless your little heart. <laughs> <laughs> but that's real though. That's real. There's plenty of relationships that you can lifetime where it's just like one thing set it off and then boom, it's done. Everything is everything is thrown in the trash. Yeah, exactly. But that one person that you really riding with, you gonna know like at the end of the day, like, you know what, hey, yeah, we going we gonna have our friction, but we going we gonna make it work because you know, you gonna bring you gonna take your ass into the guest room. But later on that night or the next day, you're going to bring your ass right back in this bedroom and we're going to figure this out, period. It is not that easy, but okay. No, it's not. It's not. It goes, <laughs> it's not. Trust me. It's not. There's levels you got to do. Not There's that levels easy. You go through it. It's not that easy. But if you work at it, though, real, like on the real, like if you work at it, not just trying to work it out with that significant other, but if you're trying to work right. at it, with Let's yourself, it it'll it'll work itself out. And again, to your point, you were so right. It's not easy. It sounds easy, but you got to put that action to it, though. And that action is gonna come with, you know, different different types of you know stuff that's gonna make you think twice or or whatever the case may be. But it can be dealt with if if you want to do it. And I think that's that's, that's the most important is if yeah. you're all in. If he's worth it or if she's worth it, period. Well, I just wanted to say that um, I believe in a higher power, and that's where all my faith is. That's all I, I have to say. As it should be. <laughs> As... <laughs> and that was the seven. That that, that was seven. That's all I have to say. <laughs> By Next Legacy Radio and Real in the Runways. Make sure you follow my girl on Instagram and go check her out, get to know her and stuff like that. And you know what? Hey, I wanted to throw something like this out there just because I know you do podcasts and I know it's a, you know you you might have little topics like this and stuff like that, if not more, not just on the sexual uh-huh. nature, but on building. You know what I mean? Like. You know, and I think at the end of all days, when it comes to that, if you're friends with somebody or if you're a partner with somebody or if you're married to somebody or if you're, you know, in a deep relationship, it's all about building. Building, getting to know each other. and Exactly. You know what I mean? That's it. Everything else is either going to run itself, you're going to know more about yourself while you're dealing with her or him or whatever, and then you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna, you're gonna figure it out. You're going to figure it out. Right. But yeah. one one thing I know about you, Rio, that, that, that I definitely appreciate is the fact that you have a drive within yourself, and I said it earlier, that is relentless, and I know there's just, you know, you just, you know, you just got to keep pushing and, and getting that good support on some unconditional type stuff, and it's just, you know, it's great to see that you have multiple crafts that you got your hands on that you're going to try to see if you can make into, um, you know what I'm saying, a legacy, so... I want you to yeah. shout out the people that you know, and I want you to, okay. uh, you know, direct traffic to whatever it is that you want to, not just on social media, but everything else. Okay. Shout out to Kelda Music and Where Media Meets, BJTV, Japan Hands, and I did say Kelda Music, um, Topaz of LA, and, oh, my gosh, Hip Hop TV. I'm, I'm going to miss some people. Okay, I think that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cognac Confessionals and Sex in Oakland. And I'm at Rio and Runway on IG. Thank there you. There you go. Hey, <laughs> thank you. And, hey, hey. And uh, my closing shout out is this. Look, I'm, I'm about to follow Sex in Oakland. Um, you know what? Hey, I need y'all to go support my girl. Go, go add to her follow game on Rio and Runways, and book her. If you want to book her, definitely hit her up on IG, follow, you know what I'm saying? She'll network, do all the stuff needed to be done. And I'm going I'm to be her um, be her radio station 
ambassador or her publicist <laughs> and just say, listen, direct traffic my way. If you in the car listening to this or you uh if you sitting down and you're like, you know what, I need to I need a I need a model or I need a actress or I need you know what I mean, do that. You can email me Brandon at nextlegacy dot com N E X X L A C Y. Um, and I'm gonna make sure that you know what I'm saying we we continue to explore and do everything we can to help you grow. Like you know, seriously yeah. though, like I mean, it's 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 bigger than just this interview. It's just about helping people build their brands so okay. we can be able to just grow. You know what I mean? So it's 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 all about the action, and we're about to display that here. So um, not only do I wish you the best, I'm gonna be right there by your side, supporting you in any of the ventures that you do have. Um and 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 I just I'm just so proud of you already and I just can't wait to see what you what what you got going for you next. Thank you know what you. I mean? So definitely appreciate you. Thank you for having me on your show. Oh yeah, nah, this was fun. We gotta do it again. again. Oh, for sure. Again. I'll come back. No. And again. No <laughs> doubt. <laughs> Shanice. A.K.A. Rio. Make sure y'all follow on IG at Rio and run, Runways and, and just keep doing you, babe. Model, actress, TV, film, podcast, commercial print, brand ambassador. <laughs> the host, Sex in Oakland. Go support my girl. Go hit her up. Rio and Runways.